Hey guys, Kibi here, and well, yeah, new let's play, woo, but this time it isn't Total War. No, brilliant, brilliant game. Brings back a lot of memories, Battle of Middle Earth 2. And I'm gonna do, um, oh, well, a campaign, I might as well, you know. Uh, which one should we do? Good or evil? Let's do good just because it's nice and makes sense. I haven't played this game in ages, so if the controls or anything messed up, then yeah. Let's film. Ah, uh, this game brings back so many memories. Final years of the Third Age. Middle Earth stands on the brink of destruction. Nazgul there. Epic lightning. Got Mordor. Plains of Gorboroth. Although Barad does a bit near the Black Gate, but you know, and there's goblins, misty mountains, there's Dugudur, oh so epic, then of course you remember this from the Fellowship of the Ring, the first film, And the dragon of Willard's Heath. No. Oh. Well, all right. This should be a fun let's play. Let's uh, see Rivendell, which is the first uh, level sort of thing, I think. Yep. Rivendell is a hidden refuge and stronghold of the elves. It's called Glorfindor. The silver armoured elf. Elf. Not elf. Oh wow, well, um, fast fill, eh? Charge! The Gondor! <laughs> Epicness. Of course, not for Gondor, it's not men. Anyway, shout out time where you're watching this epic fighting scene. Uh, not usual shout outs because I can't really think of anyone to shout out to. Um, Arctic Spot, it's his birthday today. We went to the cinema with a few friends, so happy birthday, Arctic Spot. Check out his YouTube. As usual, I'll put the link to his channel in the description. And there's a guy called Rob Dylan. I think he once told me that his YouTube channel was Assassin's Creed UK, so check that out. You know, let's help our allied elves here defeat the dark forces, the Misty Mountains, the evil goblin warriors. You arrived just in time. Yes, we arrived just in time. Of course we arrived just in time. For a wizard arrives precisely when he means to. Even though I'm not a wizard. So yeah, check out Assassin's Creed UK if that really is his channel. I doubt it. You know, because I've got banners, I can heal my units and get new ones and everything. So that's pretty good. Now I've got two units of Elven Warriors and a uh, Lawfindel hero. 
take these goblins before they defeat my Malon tree, but I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Of course, I've got archers there as well. Do that. Bring these over here. To attack there. I see this tactic is defeat in detail, using all my force against one unit, then move on to the next, that's what Nelson used. <laughs> Left him. Yeah. Let's get everyone to kill him. Alright, move on. <laughs> They're all simultaneous. Simultaneously firing their bows. Front ranks, back ranks. guys a bit out and that one probably because they were dying but <laughs> oh well I think I'm getting a good glorf into the force just because I feel like it now this campaign is based in the war in the north because in the Lord of the Rings the battle of Middle-earth you see is in the war in the south the battle of Middle-earth 2 this the collector's edition I've got but you know it's in the battle of Middle-earth 2 anyway unless you get Rise of the Witch King is based in the war in the north which um, is in as it's briefly in the books, but not in the films, because there was a large for Rivendell. There was a large war there, <coughs> so <coughs> against the uh, Sauron's forces from Dol Guldur and the goblins of the Misty Mountains. Right, well, if you, uh, just in case you want to see um, another YouTuber who's very successful who does Battle of Middle Earth 2 videos, and check out someone called, I think that's how you say it, Orkamak SPJG. Yeah, Orkamak SPJG. I think that's it. You can correct me if I'm wrong because I'll probably send him this video over Steam, but he does um, Battle for Middle Earth 2 videos. Um, he's doing pretty well. So yeah, feel free to check out his channel. Oh, almost used WSD to move there. Just remember it's arrow keys on this, unless I want to change it, I can't bother. Okay, let's open the gate. Oh, I think it automatically opens, so. Yeah, it's automatically gonna open. Alright, let's go over here to Gloin and Elrond. Elrond you all know from the books in the film. Films. Anyway, he's the elf who, you know, he, he has room now, that's his home. And Gloin is Gimli's... Oh. Yeah, Gloin is uh, Gimli's father, and he is in the Hobbit. He's one of the 13 dwarves who are in Thorin's company. Goes with Bilbo to defeat Smaug the dragon. But yeah, because I'm talking, you're probably not able to focus on story so much. I'll stop talking. But pretty much, yeah, we're building an army to stop the goblins who are attacking Rivendell. We must select a power from the Palantir. I think we should get... I'm going to go with heal because that's always helpful. The heal spell can restore our soldiers health. I mean if you've got banner carriers then you don't need it anyway. But still, like I say, it's very helpful.
love the sound effects on this. New bonus objective. Right. Well, I know that they're going to come over here. Because Arwen comes over here. And there's goblins, apparently, and stuff. Let's wait for my elves. Oh, here they are. Okay, defend Rivendell from attack to must reach level 2. We'll check something. Settings audio. Quiet, isn't it? I am a servant of the secret fire. Yep, that will do. Freeze your game. And let's wait. Wait for attack. Can you hear the drums getting closer? I can. Let's hope you can now I've turned up the volume. And here they come. Form our wall. Reform the line. Reform the line. Ah. Rivendell must not fall. Good. Return of the king moment there. Gloin is so slow. I will be your guide. He can go on foot with everyone else now. Glorfindel. Something is a foul. Go on foot. Okay, good. Charge. Okay. How long do we have to wait? We must stand against them. A bit fighting here. Oh, I think we got a troll. I just saw the explosion, so I'm guessing. After that, Bloin decided to, you know, do his stuff. Blade of Purity, you might as well use that. It's for the hell of it. And then he decides to go the other way. Right? Here he comes. Gryffindor. Try to kill the banner carrier. Alright, Gloin is level 2 now. That was easy. Let's move over here. What's my gate open if I'm trying to defend? There we are. Oh, here comes Arwen. Oh no, she comes later with cavalry, I think. There's just some random idiots running through the mountains. Let's bring these over here. Form over here. Advance. That way I can attack from any side and I can be ready for them. Oh, I've got 7,000 gold, that was easy. The eagles of the mountains have seen the goblins approaching. Oh, the eagles. They've sent word to go here and are now on their way to lend aid. Oh, I've got the eagles, that should be pretty damn easy then. This first episode of this Let's Play is going to be really quick, so I'm just going to do each episode by each level. 
So, yeah, it, it's, it'd be nice. Be nice. Yeah, I heard drums. Oh, and the, the phone again. Can't move over there. Should. And this time they do have a mountain for it. You see, when EA made these games before they released The Hobbit, so they obviously knew what a cave troll looked like from, you know, the, the Lord of the Rings. So they thought, hmm, how can we make a mountain troll? They thought, hmm, we'll give it some certain enhancement the cave troll has, but make it a bit different. So they made it like that. But then when Peter Jackson made it in The Hobbit, it looked completely different. So, yeah, I wonder how they feel about that. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this sometime. <laughs> Might as well put it to some use before it dies. Perhaps I shouldn't have stayed all the way over there. Although I know they will attack that place. So. I think I have my eagles or my cavalry or something, but by then, so. Doesn't matter. My elven archers. See, the elves are brilliant archers, as you probably know if you know about Lord of the Rings lore. Especially the Mirkwood um, the wood elves. Or Sylvan Elves, as they are known. Oh, here's some cave trolls. Force them back. Show them no mercy. They've broken through. Oh, he's got arrows sticking out of him now. I like when trolls and stuff die. You know, it just goes into a skeleton and it decays into the ground and stuff. Alright, well, he's dead. You would have thought that would destroy this. <laughs> Not quite. I want that thing cut off. This is the mirror of Galadriel. Yeah, that, that mountain troll is OP. I mean, next time I'm not going to attack move, I'm just going to signal out each, or single out each unit I want to defeat. It's running away now. <laughs> Probably because he's a ranged unit. Well, he can go non range, but he clearly doesn't want to. I think it's about time I healed my units. There we go. It will heal. Oh, look, he's decaying into the ground. Huzzah! Now I'm going to open over here. Fall. Because my cavalry with Arwen will come from the west. I've returned with the lances, Father. How did I know? Our time goes short. Open the gate. Alright, time to march out and attack. Because I can guess. Yep, you see, across the river over here, setting up camp. So we're gonna have to go out and attack them. And the only way is across this bridge, unless we wanna go over here. I don't know if you can walk across there. Uh, no, you can't. So the only way on the campaign mode is across this bridge on the good campaign on the evil campaign I say the skirmish map so you can go the other way as well but yeah finally got my eagles where are the eagles? I'm waiting for them long enough Hmm. 
to end Bindy Heroes. Nope, okay, no. You found the enemy camp. Alright. Time to get defeat in detail. Let's watch these wood cutters work. Ah, I find this very entertaining. Mm-hmm, finally. Here's the enemy. Go into the shadow. See some random goblin crawling in there. Oh, and he's coming back out again. Good, good. He won't get crushed. Instead, he'll get picked up by an eagle. <laughs> if he wasn't part of the building animation. Oh, that eagle just took out all those people. Hmm. Headshot. Yep, they're OP. But Sauron is the most OP in this game. Him and Gladwell. The ring heroes. You have to... On skirmish mode, around the map, there's a little golem crawling around. If you find him... He is really stealthy. If you do find him, he's really fast, so best use cavalry. And you kill him, you get the ring. Take it back to your fortress, and for an incredibly expensive price, you can buy either Sauron or Galadriel. Galadriel, I don't know how to say it. And they are all OP. Although they're limited, limited amount of time. But in that time, you can easily defeat your enemy with them. I got a tree with the goblins there. Here's my eagles to go ahead. Probably take out this tower. Yeah, I'm gonna take this tower out before anything. And the mountain giants. Everyone else can just, you know, do their thing. Giants now. Oh, the fog of war has lifted. Alright, let's get another thing from the Palantir. Well, we can't on this level. Oh well, you can look forward to that next episode. <laughs> look forward to me getting something from the Palantir. Mm hmm. That's a giant's dead. Alright, well, I'm just gonna get everyone this over there. Else. Apart from the eagles, because soon. Oh, a worm or something is gonna come up and attack my men. And it's best if I use my eagles to take, them, take it out, because it can deal a lot of damage. Oh, uh, first one's gonna have all my heroes.
Ah, oh, the eagles are taking their time. Clearly not the best at destroying buildings. Taking out lots of infantry or any sort of unit there. They are brilliant. Oh yeah, they should just destroy the rubble before moving on. basic units out for the following reason. It's a work. We must destroy it. I'll just use my heroes. Yeah, get the hell out. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Oh god, that's dealing a lot. Now our weapons be true. We can revive our heroes from the house of Elrond. Might as well waste my money reviving Glorfindel. Don't have the money. Oh, and I've won! Yeah, and spinning round. Elrond's house. In Imlandris. Imladris. Huzzah! Victory! We have victory! Always reminds me of that moment at the end of the Two Towers where Sam's giving his speech about how it's like the stories, Mr. Frodo. Under siege from the goblins of the Mr. And then it has fared and going, Victory! We have victory at Hunts Deep. Elrond forms a plan to unite the Elves and Dwarves of the North against Sauron's advancing armies. His most powerful warrior, Glorfindel, will join forces with the Dwarf leader Glowing to make war on the goblins and forge this alliance. Woohoo! Glorfindel and Glowing there. And an Elven army. Oh, our resources just shoot up. Final score high, obviously. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoy this new campaign. Let's play. If there's anything else you want me to do, comment. If you want a shout out, comment. Uh, please check out Arctic Spark and Rob. Well, Assassin's Creed UK, apparently. So he says it is, he might be lying. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time. Don't bring me back.